Hi, my name is Thomas. I'd like to show you about a new feature we have in our televisions. It's actually not a new feature, it's a feature we have had in all our televisions for actually more than 23 years, but not many people are aware of it. It's a feature we call peripheral unit control, or as we just say in daily, daily words, PUC or POC control. The POC control will actually allow you to control any source you connect to your TV. That could be a skybox, it could be an Apple TV, or it could be a media or a Blu-ray player. The problem is, the customer, we don't want him to end up with lots of remote controls. We like remote controls, a bang and all, isn't it? We want the customer to use only one remote control to control all his sources he has connected to the TV. In this case, this example where I have up here, I have now an Apple TV connected to my HDMI source. And I would like to control this Apple TV using my Bang & Olufsen remote control. And for that use, I would need a PUC cable. The PUC cable looks like this. I have an RJ45 plug in one end, and have a small IR blaster in the other end. And this IR blaster I would place in front of my box, and simply just connect to the TV. This PUC cable comes in two versions. I have one where I simply just have one IR receiver on, but I also have one with one plug and two IR receivers. But let me get back to the setting up part of it. Because what I need to do now, after I have added my Apple TV to my TV, is I need to go in and get the codes. I need the TV to be able to translate the codes, so the control from this remote control, which by the way is 340 kilohertz, to the about 30 kilohertz the Apple TV is using. So to do that, I go into the setup menu of my TV. In the setup menu, I can clearly see here, I have the HDMI 1 source where I connected my Apple TV. What I do now, I go into the uh, setting up menu and the TV is asking me, would you like to control the source using the Bang & Olufsen remote control? Of course, I click this to that. And then I go in to the database where I can either get it from a USB stick or I can actually now connect up to our server in Bang & Olufsen in Denmark. By connecting in here, I have an access to thousands and thousands of IR codes which we have gathered, put together during the past 23 years. If I search in here, I start alphabetically and I can just scroll down till I come to Apple. When I choose the Apple IR code, I can choose between the first generation of the Apple TV or the second and third one. Just by choosing this one here, and confirming this is actually the IR code I would like to use. I can go down, choose the Apple TV, and now I decide which one of the control uh, plugs, RJ45 plugs, am I using. I can also decide if the set box, my Apple TV or my DVD player, should switch off at the same time as the TV is switching off, or for example a Skybox, I would want to have it running all the time. I simply just decide that here in the setting up menu at the same time. It's now storing my settings, I have confirmed up here. And that means automatically the name of the device is now called Apple TV. And all I need to do now is just go into my sources. Now my HDMI 1 is called Apple TV. I press it and now I actually have full control of my Apple TV. So I have now added the Apple TV control to my TV and I have full control of the Apple TV using the Bang & Olufsen remote control, as simple as that.